Hey, I'm back with a new tutorial series. We'll take a look at setting up a REST API using a men's stack. We'll use MongoDB for our data layer, Express for our applications framework, and Node for our backend. Uh, you need Node to run Express anyway, so those two work hand in hand. And that gives us our men's stacks, Mongo, Express, and Node. You may be familiar with Mean, Mern, or Meven stacks. Since we're focusing on creating an API, we won't be focusing on the front end. So we won't be looking at React or Views or any kind of front end framework. We'll be specifically looking at the API and setting that up and creating that. Now, if you're new to the channel, I post up tutorials, tips and tricks for web development, especially for developers that are just getting started. So if that's the sort of content you're interested in, please do subscribe to the channel. For our prerequisites, we'll need to have Node and NPM installed here, and you can get that at nodejs.org. If you're on a Mac and you need help with your web dev environment, I have a tutorial series on my channel to help you set up your Mac for web development, focusing on Terminal, Node, Git, VS Code, and a bunch more. You can check out videos in the top right corner over here, and I'll post it in the description down below. And we'll have to sign up for Mongo Atlas for our database layer. This will give us a DB in the cloud. So we can do that by signing up here. We'll go through that within the MongoDB video. Anything else we'll download and install as we go. I'll also be using VS Code as my code editor. And you can get that at code.visualstudios.com. And I'll have my repo set up for this tutorial series over here at github.com slash codewithchu men dash API dash tutorial series. And it's broken down into the different branches for all the different videos. That's it for the intro. And let's get started by creating our projects folder. I'm going to do Mictor and I'm going to name it M men dash API and you can name it whatever you want. And then I'll CD into that directory. Here we'll do npm init dash y, and the dash y just pre-fills the questions that npm normally asks to set up your project. So that'll auto-fill there. And I'm going to do git init. And it's just good practice to when you first start up your project to have npm and your git set up before anything else. And what I'll do is I'll also do touch and a git ignore. And then I'll do code and open up VS Code. Now that I have VS Code open, uh, let me open up Terminal here as well. And I have my git ignore. And I'm going to pre-fill my git ignore. And I can just copy and paste this. Since I'm on a Mac, I have this pre-filled. So this is the stuff that is on Mac OS on the operating system that it, I'll ignore. The two things that I will add is the .env and modules, or node underscore modules, for my git ignore. I'm just going to save that. And I'll do my first commit. So I'll do git uh, a and I'll do git s, git status. And these aren't standard commands for git. These are aliases that I have. I'll show you so dot git config. These are my aliases that I have. A as add, s as status. So normally you do git status, git reset, git add. I have these as my, my aliases here. So I'll quit out of that. And what I'll do here is I'll do git cm this as my uh, initial project setup. And if I do git s. Now if you have, if you want to have that set up, I have a video on git on my YouTube channel. I'll post it up over here in the top right corner and I'll also put it in the description down below if you're interested in that. In the next video, we'll set up our express application and get that up and running. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Hey, if you've gotten this far, thanks for the support. This will help the channel grow. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to click the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. To stay updated with the latest content from the channel, you can subscribe by clicking right here in the middle.